Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. Uh, I will uh, explain the meaning of Surat al a bit of uh, some quick facts and a lesson learned uh, from Surat al uh, This is a, 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 a Madani Surah, uh, chapter number 110. Uh, it has three ayats and it's one of the shortest surahs. Uh, the other two surahs are Surah Al uh, Asr and Surah Al Kawsar. And there are 19 words and 80 letters in this surah. Uh, surah Al Ikhlas uh, is uh, actually the third shortest surah, but it has four ayats, but only 15 words and 47 letters. This is the last surah that was revealed in full at one time. The first surah revealed in full was Surah Al Fatiha. Uh, this surah, Ausbillah Mishaton Rajim, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. I'll just go over the English translation here. When help of Allah come and the victory and you see people entering the Deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in large groups. Uh, then you glorify uh, your Lord with praises and uh, seek for his forgiveness. Indeed, he is the most uh, forgiving. Uh, when this surah uh, was revealed, uh, all the Sahaba were uh, very happy, except uh, uh, Sayyidina Abbas, the uncle of Prophet Muhammad. Uh, he was a bit sad and he cried. And people asked, uh, Sayyidina Abbas said, There's a fine print in this surah that mission of Rasulullah is uh, complete and he will uh, leave us very soon. Uh, when Sulura uh, said, I told this to Sayyidina uh, Fatima Radhiratarano that he will be leaving soon and she cried. But when he told that she will be the one joining me in Jannah uh, within, from my family, he will be the first one, she, it made her smile. A bit of historical perspective. Uh, Muslims, uh, the two biggest enemies of uh, Muslims uh, before and after Hijra were the Jews and uh, the Meccans. So in, in the first uh, uh, ayah, uh, it's a Jaa Nasrullah, it's, uh, uh, this uh, points to the victory of Khaybar and uh, uh, breaking the backbone of Jews up there. And the second, Wal Fatha, uh, points to the Fatima bin or Fatah of Mecca. Uh, uh, lots of uh, uh, Arabian tribes uh, in and around Mecca were waiting for, okay, now if Prophet Muhammad prevails, uh, we are going to follow him and we're going to accept his uh, religion because they were really afraid of uh, uh, Quraysh. Uh, so the next time, so when after the Fatah of Mecca, uh, people started entering Islam in large groups. That year is also called year of delegations. Uh, the biggest delegation was from Yemen, where over four, 700 people actually came and uh, joined the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The last ayah uh, tells us what to do. Uh, when you get uh, victory, when the help of Allah SWT comes and triumph comes, common behavior is destroy properties, kill people. That's the, uh, these uh, common uh, armies do, but uh, that's not behavior of prophets. So just a couple of examples in Surah Yusuf, Ayah 101. Uh, when uh, Yusuf, uh, Sayyidina Yusuf Islam, uh, was released from uh, prison, he became uh, part of the governors. He called in his parents and his uh, uh, brothers, but never humiliated his brothers and never told him that, okay, you know, you, what you did to me. Uh, 
uh, in Surat An-Nama, uh, Suleiman al-Islam, when one of uh, his companions uh, brought a throne of uh, 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 Bilqis uh, in a flash. So Sidna Suleiman al-Islam said, uh, thank, praise Allah SWT and uh, thank him and ask for forgiveness. The uh, behavior of Prophet Sallallahu and his companions was no different. Prophet Sallallahu entered on the back of his camel and his head was bowed down. Uh, just remember, this is the city whose people expelled him and uh, sort of persecuted him and plotted for his uh, killing. But he forgave any, all of them. And this is the only uh, example in humankind where a battle is won without any bloodshed. So by accepting Deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, the generation of Sahaba was raised, which is unparalleled in standard of greatness, power, and freedom. So whenever the help of Allah, whenever we get any uh, blessing, any success, make sure that, that we praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seek his forgiveness. It's not because of my efforts. It's given to me. Jazakallah uh, khair.